Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmation you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall, the positive way you show up in this planet. <laughs> Look what popped out here. Oh, shine bright like a diamond. All right. So this is definitely regarding my star seeds, my elect ones, chosen ones, okay? I'm also hearing people of influence, so you could be an influencer, okay? Something could be going viral about you. Some of you may be having some disturbing dreams with moon and Pisces, okay? Some of you are connecting to your sixth sense. Some of you may be experiencing some telepathy, telepathy, te <laughs> telepic activity, Either show me what it is I need to see. All right, so I'm being guided to do my general spread, a spread that I created with the help of my guides and my ancestors and the divine. So I want to tell people now that my, my work is protected, okay? Let's see, so we have someone that's getting out of their head or they need to get out of their head an eclipse in Aries may signif be significant to someone all right I'm here in nurturing some of you this individual is waiting for results you could be waiting from some sort of results okay this could have something to do with family all right I feel like somebody was playing some martyr some martyrdom okay all right I'm hearing silence, our secret hero, okay? Some of you, obviously, well, I'm seeing a fire. I don't know if somebody was in a fire. My condolences to anyone that may have lost um, relatives, homes, and businesses, okay? But this is something here um, that's a new beginning, okay? So you have an opportunity to have a new beginning. I'm also here, um, um, restoration of faith here, all right? So we have a leap of faith. So somebody's taking... Uh, a, a full journey is what I'm getting. A leap of faith. That's like the fool card, okay? So it says bring t peace to your life and your relationships will flourish, all right? So I feel like some of you are secretly healing or you're dealing with <clears throat> someone that's secretly healing, okay? So, yeah. So this is a lot of endings and beginnings for whoever this may resonate with, all right? Let's see. Some of you may be firefighters because I keep seeing fire, okay? And I'm also seeing uh, fire trucks moving out here. Some of you, you have changed your stance on stability and what makes you feel stable and secure, all right? Some of you may discover something or they may be... <sighs> There may be something coming out in the in the news regarding NASA, all right, is what I'm also getting. So some of you, you may have based your relationships and your experiences in life by, you know, the community and what the community think, okay? Aries are very much, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but they're people pleasers, all right? So Eclipse in Aries, some of you, you are realizing that you were in alliance with the wrong people, okay? I'm also seeing hands, people shaking hands here, all right? Some of you, you have to be mindful at this time um, because you're connecting to your empath abilities, okay? Your sixth sense, all right? So some of you may be experiencing some sort of downloads when you shake someone's hand. Some of you may have that gift where you could, you you know, you could pick up energy here. So we have Taurus. There could be a Taurus and an Aries collaborating as well as a Scorpio or a Sagittarius or any sign, really. All right. You could have Moon and Leo, Moon and Sagittarius, Moon and Capricorn or Aries. Just take it how it resonates. But we have someone definitely in their head about their finances and their love life. Okay. Somebody may have made the wrong investment, all right? Some of you, you, you may feel like family comes first. Some of you may be realizing that you come from a very toxic family. I believe I picked that up in yesterday or the day before yesterday's reading. Why is Moon and Leo here? So in the past, um, 
you were focused on collaborating with family or close relatives or something. Well, close relatives, close friends, people that are like family to you. Yeah, I'm hearing the souls, the, the ties that bind, soul ties, okay? So we got Moon and Leo. So Leo is all about family. It's all about uh, partnerships, okay? Somebody could have had a health scare is what I'm getting. Yeah. Some of you may be dealing with people speculating things about you or surrounding your family, your home life. We got the food card. So somebody definitely took a leap of faith away from something that was toxic in nature. This could be the way someone gets their money. Yeah. Moon is Sagittarius. I keep seeing something about NASA. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out. Um, yeah, somebody's all in their mind here. This could be an entanglement. Somebody could be dealing with the Virgo. You could be a Virgo, but... Somebody's getting some sort of freedom from bondage here, okay? You were dealing with somebody that refused to learn a lesson in the past, okay? So this person uh, had a fear of people looking at them different. This could be you or somebody that you're thinking of. So it caused this person to be in a repetitive cycle. I'm hearing for years, all right? So, yeah, somebody didn't want to listen to the call. You could have uh, Aquarius, Aries, or this is surrounding the Aquarius, Aries, we got Scorpio, Virgo, and Capricorn. So unbeknownst to you, this individual was doing a lot of things in the dark to gain some sort of success, okay? I feel like this was a faded situation for some of you, so you had to take accountability for your actions, all right? Or this person is now being forced to take accountability for your actions. Some of you, you're guiding very, uh, I'm hearing sick and demented people, all right? So with Neptune being here, this is definitely somebody making a wrong investment, the wrong investment, okay? But I feel like this person, you know, was following the status quo, all right, trying to focus on money here, all right? They may have bound themselves to somebody that was toxic in nature. If this individual has a lot of karmic debt, all right, um, you know, whoever this is, they were being used, okay? So in, in a sense, they were going against God because uh, sometimes when people go through these little obstacles with their finances, it's for them to change, okay? So somebody may have let someone into their home and let, letting this person into their home caused a lot of toxicity, okay? A family divided. So somebody is now at the bottom of the wheel with the wheel of fortune. Some of you may be in an area where there are a lot of clouds, smoke, okay? Possibly even pollution for some of you. Some of you may have been in the area where they had that tornado. All right. Let's see. Why is Taurus here? There's definitely a Capricorn involved in this situation. Or somebody that's very low vibe, low vibrating. That's not saying that all Capricorns are low vibrating. But, you know, this is definitely somebody that uses people. This is somebody that refuses to learn the lesson. You could have been taking care of someone that had a lot of karmic debt, okay? And your finances may be suffering because of that. Why is Taurus here? Mm. Yeah, somebody didn't want to work with you. or But I feel like for some of you, you may have had friends or family that collaborated with your adversary. We have ESP, extrasensory perception, communication, 5D or above. So, yeah, you're definitely getting some downloads here, okay? You could be a Taurus and you're experiencing this or a Taurus is involved, okay? I feel like a Taurus and an Aries was collaborating. Yeah, so somebody was trying to bind you here, okay? Some of you, I don't know why I'm here in plantation home. Some of you can live in a plantation home. We have 777. It's time to dig deeper, there's a spiritual partnership someone is overlooking. You or someone else overlooked a spiritual partnership or your spiritual calling. All right. I feel like somebody was dealing with somebody that was doing binding work. Okay. So, yeah, this person is in secret competition with you. This person may have tried to hack your account. All right. This was the opposition. It could be a Taurus um, that was trying to up, go up against you. Or this could be like a high priestess, somebody that does... Binding work in relationships. It could also be an Aries. Take it how it resonates, okay? So somebody was trying to keep somebody from having a new beginning. Interesting, yeah. So somebody's unemployed. Somebody may have took a hit, 
All right. Uh, attacking the wrong person. Why is Moon and Leo here? Clarifying the world card. Some more Capricorn energy. Very low vibrating Capricorn here. So the day of affliction. So we have a Moon and Leo, possibly a Capricorn that's facing some sort of judgment. The world card. This is somebody that trolls you, trolls me, trolls readers, okay? They control your uh, business accounts is what I'm getting. They wanted to stop somebody from coming in. Some of you may have recently purchased a new car or you're definitely in your in your feels about it, okay? Some of you, this person tried to astral travel towards you. They may have gotten stuck, okay? It's because you passed this person up. So this person was trying to forget about all the things that they did in the past and karma caught up with this person. Okay, so we have a gatekeeper here. So this person didn't want you to be seen in your likeness. They didn't want you to follow your north node. This person didn't want you to upgrade. So this individual is uh, now facing some sort of day of affliction. All right. A new phase of life, mindset, career, direction. This is somebody that you passed up. All right. This person may also be taking a lot of notes. Okay. I'm also hearing plagiarism. But, um, what I'm getting here is you're in the, your head trying to figure something out, possibly who you can trust. I'm hearing nobody, baby. So you may be seeing 888, okay? Uh, now that you've learned a lot, it's time for you to step out, okay, and possibly do some teaching here. Some of you may be in school. Yeah, move your ass or you'll get passed. Not a fact. All right, so let's see. Somebody may have spread some sort of lies and rumors about you. This person could have said that you were uh, plagiarizing their work, but it's not true. This is somebody that doesn't get a lot. If this is a, a YouTuber or an aspiring YouTuber or somebody that wants to be famous, this person feels like um, they should take your place here. Why is not a fact? Or they should have the throne. They should have the opportunities that you have. So this is somebody that's very jealous and envious. This person tried to stop you repeatedly. Yeah. So somebody needs to, something is not for someone, but they want to make it for them not a fact why is that here waste so this person has a wasteful type of energy this is has this individual has like a glutton type of um energy all right somebody could be in a place where there's a lot of toxic waste again i did i did uh get that but i feel like somebody's trying to throw away evidence okay this person is greedy. Ocean pollution. Interesting. So, yeah, somebody may have been doing voodoo or spell work. You may have recently thrown something uh, in the water here. They may find something in the water. Okay. So, this person may have uh, hangups about the LGBTQIA community. All right. Yeah. Somebody, something could be found in the water. I'm going to keep moving on. I'm getting that reading that uh, I did where they were saying that uh, someone tried to implicate somebody in the crime. They basically tried to cover up their involvement by scapegoating someone else. And a lot of that has been happening in the collective. And essentially, people tell on themselves, okay? It's like, you know so much about this. Why? Why do you know so much? Why do you know so much about an individual that you don't know? So somebody definitely threw something in the garbage. Something could be found in the landfill is what I'm getting. You had a lack of interest uh, for this person. They could definitely have been doing some sort of necromancy or divination. All right. So it says communicating with spirits. This is a dark witch. It could be a male or a female. So this person uh, did some sort of divination without your permission. Okay, they could have tried to do a binding spell on your gifts, on your intellect, all right? This is also someone that uh, does some sort of spell work on people, and then they want to offer them a solution. So I'm hearing entrapment. Clarify this communicating with spirits card, please. Somebody could have a Ouija board. 
This is something that was done in the past. This person wanted to keep you from moving forward. They wanted to keep you from your higher purpose. Okay, but we have the Holy Trinity. This is Ka, life force. So Aries could be involved. All right. This is about somebody's personality. They don't like the fact that you shine. Okay. <sighs> Some of you, the aunt could, make, could be significant. I'm hearing Ethiopia and Egyptian. Okay, so this person wanted to stop your healing here. This person may have even said that you were a twin or something like that. So, yeah, you you stepped out on faith. So we have 999 clarifying the full card. You are at the end of the cycle. It's time to start something new. So this is this is what somebody was trying to block. Okay, and I feel like they made themselves sick trying to do this. This person wanted to make you appear like something you are not. All right, there's been uh, an individual that's been floating around the collective, okay, that likes to cast spells on women, and particularly if uh, you do not... Uh, want to be with them this is also somebody that's on drugs might i add okay so moon and sagittarius this individual likes to cast spells on readers here okay you may have experienced this person some of you may have witnessed this person doing this okay i'm hearing something about instagram freedom and adventure so yeah we have a warrant morning here so this person definitely was using some form of neck um damn necromancy crystal ball divination this person was warned so this is somebody that casts spells on individual and then they secretly watch okay and if you do not um you know show this person affection they put you in a jar or possibly literally Okay, so this is for some of you, this is someone that you don't know. They just like a, a neighborhood stalker. Okay, they like to stalk people. All right. So, yeah, they like late relationships of convenience. This is somebody that doesn't necessarily want you, but they want attention from you. This is an energy vampire. So you freed yourself from some sort of bounding here. or Yeah. For some of you, this is somebody that you uh, work with, I'm hearing. Okay. Um somebody in your community all right so yeah they um they go after women that are that's lustful in nature usually okay so this is somebody that's playing in your face for some of you this is somebody that you may smoke with okay i'm also hearing weed man for some of you why uh is playing in your face here so this person doesn't like the fact that you are a free spirit. This is also somebody that wanted you to chase them. Why is uh, the mask here? This person could be getting arrested, okay? Yeah. So they entangled themselves, in, in, you know, with you, possibly trying to do some sort of binding spell, trying to put like a lustful energy on you. All right. This person may be suffering from some mental illness, yeah, they're stalking you, okay? So this person may get in your DMs. Um, they may uh, impersonate other people, use other photos here, because this is an individual that you blocked, okay? So this is someone that secretly... Um, they secretly uh, watch you on whatever platform that you may be on. This is an individual that follows you from platform to platform, okay? And they do it uh, under different accounts here. Why is Mercury here? So, yeah, this person loses control, all right? They may have a counterpart that they live with or a child's mother or something like that or a friend or a relative, okay? They like to say that you are casting spell work on them, but in fact, it is them. With the full card being here, this is somebody that you do not want to deal with. You may have had brief encounters with this person. Yeah, so they, they try to psychically attack you. This is somebody that does mental magic. They try to do some sort of mind control. This is a protagonist, all right? This is somebody that has no force powers, okay? This is somebody that will shoot first. This is uh, somebody that's rebellious. They may have a lot of guns and something about a tree in a backyard here, okay? So for some of you, this is a psychopath, okay? This person is now experiencing some mental uh, issues, yeah, judgment. All right, so this is also somebody that partakes in white collar crime. They, it, yeah, somebody committed some sort of mortgage fraud or some sort of embezzlement. Okay, uh, healthcare fraud as well. So this person graduated from, uh, like, what is that? 
they started from, you know, they go possibly on Facebook or Instagram or something like that. They steal people's pictures and then they graduated into white collar crime, like uh, credit card scams and things of that sort. Yeah, politics. OK, a major achievement. So we have a good guess bet first, second, third place. So somebody may have gotten away with it in the past. OK, I'm hearing the power of three. They may be working together with three or more people. And this is it. This is basically it. I feel like uh, whatever alliance that these people have. OK, to work against. I'm hearing other YouTubers or other content creators or something. Uh, it's not working. Take it how it resonates. It's going to resonate different from it for everyone. I feel like something is being exposed. Yeah. OK, they could be working together with tarot readers. All right. Doing some sort of satanic rituals, trying to block somebody's intellect. Yeah. <laughs> We got Sagittarius, okay? So somebody's moving cross, crunch, cross country. They could be running from the law is what I'm getting. Somebody's a sugar baby, okay? So some of you, you encountered this individual. Um, they could be catfishing you. This is a hostless being. All right, so yeah, this person did some sort of ritual on you to get you to feel like you were their twin or they were a higher level soulmate. Let me tell you what's happening in this situation. Some of you have encountered the same person um, that, in, that I encountered on this channel here. This is somebody that I decided I did not want to associate with because they were trying to push that they were my twin. Okay. And when I disassociated from this person, he basically said that he was going to make my life miserable. He's already ready did the uh, collective. He's done that to a number of women on this platform. Some of you, you're, you're corresponding with this person. Okay. You may be realizing that some of you, you could have got some sort of download from a past over a loved one. Somebody could definitely be passing. All right. The individual that I'm talking about was a Capricorn. And I did say in that um, reading that I did exposing myself where it talked about um, somebody passing. Okay. Due to some sort of spell work here. This person is vicious and hateful. For some of you, you, you're masculine, whether if it's in the 5d, you could be with this person or you may not be with this person. They're helping you battle them in the spiritual realm. Somebody name could be Grady or, but you know, this is my greedy card. So this person takes pain off of, takes pleasure off of pain. So basically how it works is this person wants total domination over you, okay? The minute that you don't give this person what they want or answer a phone call or something like that, they go into attack mode, all right? They want to do this anyway, but they want to have a, a reason to do it. Some of you, you have supported this person, and now you're receiving some sort of hit on your finances here, or you will be going forward, okay? Okay? So we have vision and out of body experience. OK, this is somebody that has distorted energy, whether if it's male or female. This is somebody that acts innocent. All right. For some of you, this could be uh, somebody sleeping with your child's father, child's mother or something like that. OK, they could have met this person at in the office. Politics is definitely involved here with uh, with this car being here. You see, we have NASA. So, yeah. So it's going to resonate different for everyone. What do we need to know about this 999 energy? I'm hearing something about global warming as well. Energy vampire. Wanted to come out. Why is this here? Okay, so this is something that was done in this pa in the past. Okay, this binding ritual here. Some there could we could be getting some sort of warning globally about pollution okay the environment something is changing so yeah somebody's having a life review okay are they going over your vlogs okay trying to see what you like what you don't like this person is projecting distorted energy onto you <clears throat> They're trying to lower your defenses here with my eye. Um, some of you, again, may have connection to, uh, I'm hearing Ethiopia for some of you. All right. And the Netarus, or this, this is somebody that 
uh, claims that they have connection, but they don't. Okay. So we have the heart records all the good and bad deeds. So definitely somebody could be on their way to having a stroke um, or a heart attack. Some of you, this is what this person, they did some sort of sorcery. And in the past, they tried to make you have a heart attack or some sort of stroke. All right. So I feel like somebody didn't have all the information about an individual. All right. You may have sense if you are empath, you may have sense that this person uh, was doing things against you. All right. Or you may be experiencing that now. This reading may help someone clarify who's doing the necromancy, who's doing the divination. OK, for some of you, this is a man, but it could be it could be a female. Somebody definitely threw something in the trash. All right. Yeah, this person may this person may is interesting. They they may say your work is trash, but they're trash. OK, because this is somebody that stalks and um, hawks you. This is somebody that you blocked. OK, they've gotten warnings to stop doing what they're doing. But this is somebody that has to learn the hard way. OK, so somebody's definitely in debt. They're in debt. What they were doing in the dark has now come to the light with a cult being here in reverse. This person tried to sacrifice you here. All right. Yeah, somebody's getting some bad news about this individual. Deuces.